Well, some of the greatest baseball movies ever made were released over a 10-year span between the early 80s and 90s. There were comeback stories like The Natural, which was inspired by true events and starred the iconic Robert Redford. Bull Durham featured tremendous chemistry between Kevin Costner and Susan Sarandon, with Costner's fictional Crash Davis becoming a reference point for real-life minor league veterans. Eight men out detailed the Black Sox scandal of 1919, educating fans on dark days for our national pastime that occurred nearly seven decades earlier and had ramifications that are still felt today. The mood was far lighter in Major League, which saw a team of misfit, misfits beat the odds, bringing success and pride to the city of Cleveland, much to the chagrin of the club's nefarious owner. And there was Costner again in the movie we're celebrating tonight, Field of Dreams, forging a bond with his late father through emotional connections that link generations. Gina Davis and Tom Hanks led an all-star cast in a league of their own, which shined an overdue spotlight on the All-American Girls Professional Baseball League. And we can't forget The Sandlot, a coming-of-age tale that is widely popular among current major leaguers. Another fun fact now, test audience did not like the original title of Field of Dreams. It was Shoeless Joe, which was the title of the book upon which the film was based. Universal made the decision to change the title. When director and screenwriter Phil Robinson heard about this, he called W.P. Kinsella, the author of the book, and he didn't mind because Shoeless Joe was just the title given to the book by the publishing company. As we continue here on the pregame, these are the favorite baseball movies of our Yes Network announcers. For Michael Kay, it's Pride of the Yankees, David Cohn, Bull Durham, Paul O'Neill, The Natural, Meredith Morakovitz, A League of Their Own, Ryan Rucco, The Sandlot, John Flaherty, For Love of the Game, Nancy Newman, A League of Their Own, Chris Sheeran, For Love of the Game, Ken Singleton, Bull Durham. All of those are tremendous movies. Two announcers left off that. You and me. So let's go. How about you first? Well, Field of Dreams is my favorite movie for a lot of things that we've talked about in this show, Bob. I, I love the romance of it. I love the charm of it. I love the baseball part of it, but I also love the connection of families and, and a man just pursuing a dream. I'm fortunate enough that I got to pick a top six. So I also loved Bull Durham, which appeared on a lot of our colleagues' list. I love that for its authenticity. Number three for me would be 42, because I think that Chadwick Boseman, I just believe that he brought Jackie Robinson to life. Number four might be one that not a lot of people are familiar with, Bob. Bang the drum slowly. Robert De Niro was in that movie. And I subsequently wrote a book about a pitcher-catcher relationship with David Cohn. We got into that a lot. That was the first time I ever really knew what a pitcher-catcher relationship was about, and it was very heavy emotionally. Number five for me was Meredith and Nancy's pick, A League of Their Own. That told me about a slice of baseball history that I really didn't know a lot about. And then finally, I, I pleaded with Mike Medvin, our producer, <laughs> to let me have a six, because I got to put Bad News Bears in there. came out in 1976. I'm a little 11-year-old punk running around Germany. Jersey City. <laughs> of course, I love Bad News Bears. What's your uh, number one? All right, well, uh, don't watch movie, and I watched it with Yogi Berra years ago, Yogi in a movie. Bad News Bears go to Japan. <laughs> skip it. By all means, <laughs> skip it. In the meantime, mine is The Natural, and I love it for the story of loss, of life choices, of redemption. And by the way, who didn't want to be Roy Hobbs when you're growing up? Have that talent level and be able to smash a ball off the light standards in right field. When that moment happens, it's electric. And on a weird technical level, I love the shading and the lighting, the, the darkness, the light uh, with the owner of the ball club, with his manager. It's just all around a tremendous movie. Any of my top six jump out yes. for you? Would they yeah. be in your, uh, on your list? Field, Field of Dreams, Bull Durham. And I love A League of Their Own. And, and what I love about all these movies, and people say, oh, they're baseball movies. I don't want to watch a movie about a baseball player. It's really about connections between people and storylines that are just wrapped in a baseball jersey. That's the way I look at it. Right, that was the conversation we had down in your office. We call some of these baseball movies, but there's so much more going on. It's not as if you're seeing nine innings of baseball action. You're, you're seeing so much more texture within the characters and the way things are written. So I think we put together some pretty impressive lists. Bravo to our, our Yes colleagues. Yeah, and I will say this about A League of Their Own, too. The comedic level of that was terrific, balanced by that storyline between Gina Davis and Lori Petty, the two sisters, and what was happening there. That was 
pretty rough. And then we've talked about how if you build it, he will come is a memorable line. What about Tom Hanks? There's no crying in baseball. <laughs> right. I could watch that scene over and over again and just feel his angst and his disappointment as, as he's trying to get his team ready to go. All right, so here's a question for you. What, what should the next baseball movie be about? This is a great question, Bob, and you have to say to yourself, what is something that hasn't been done? Now, I'm not exactly sure if this has been done, but I haven't seen it. I go back to a player like Hideki Matsui, who had conquered Japan, who was a superstar there, who was some combination of Michael Jordan and Elvis, and then leaving his homeland, traveling 7,000 miles, coming to the most famous team in the United States and saying, I'm going to try and do it here, too. I think within that storyline, there has to be a story about all of the challenges, all of the adjustments, all of the acclimation that that would take. I go back to being in Japan in 2004 and just watching people and the way they reacted to Matsui. He was such a hero there. You might ask the question, why would you want to leave? Everybody loves you here. You're on billboards. You can't walk five feet without everybody considering you a hero. So I think within that, somewhere there might be a movie I don't know if I have the time to write the yeah. screenplay, but that would be the movie that would interest me. Actually, I was going to say, we have an off day Friday, so get jumping on it, <laughs> would you?